type game last night, but you know, similar in that you didn't score in the first, but you kind of poured it on starting in the second, which is like about the way you guys play tonight. Yeah, well, we scored the first, so uh, Cal. Yeah. So, I mean, you didn't score in the first. <laughs> okay, I thought you like, said we didn't score the first. No, 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 it was like last night. No, it was one of those games, you know, yeah. I thought that uh, I didn't think we were great in the first. Mm -hmm. I thought, uh, you know, I, I didn't think we were in a lot of trouble, but they had a couple chances. Uh, um, Overall, I thought from the second period on, I thought we we had a pretty good game plan. I thought we executed pretty well. Uh, you know, we had uh, we had good sustained offense, his own shifts, and you know, we've been working on trying to get some that front presence for goals. And I thought that came to fruition tonight. And you guys, you know, dominated the second period statistically too, like you know, sixteen to one in shots. Uh, you know, what were you doing well in that period? You know? Well, I thought I thought we really managed the puck really well. I thought we got pucks in. I thought we got pucks in behind them. And I thought we we went to work down low in the offensive zone on a cycle. You know, we have some guys that can protect pucks pretty well and can make plays. And um, you know, we need to do those. Uh, to have those types of shifts and you know playing with a short bench on D this weekend so we wanted to sustain a lot of shifts offensive zone so that they weren't taxed uh, mm. uh, playing defense I thought our guys did a great job of that and for AJ to get a couple of goals yeah, most of his goals are all his goals have been power play goals was like to see him get a couple of five on fives too. yeah yeah get a couple chance for the third one too we we're giving it to yeah. him a little bit there didn't want to yeah. didn't want to get the hat trick there but uh, I just think it's you know I thought that line was really good this weekend I thought they uh, you know Sam had a fantastic weekend and Foss is uh, he does a good job with Sam of finding open space and uh, uh, being available for him for opportunities. And then Brian, I was going to say about him, he doesn't always get to play, but you know, what do you mean for you to see him get a goal in your tonight too? Well, it's good. You know, guys were excited for him. You know, yeah. he can sense that on the bench, so that's always nice because he, you know, he works hard in that. So, uh, situation, we were we were 5D the whole weekend. So yeah. I give those guys credit. They uh, they hung tough for us. It was an important weekend for them to, to come through for us. So it's a little bit kind of like last night's game that you guys didn't score in the first, but then struck first in the second. What did you guys do better starting from the second period on tonight, do you think? Uh, uh, just kept moving feet, stuck to our game plan more often, just got pucks deep and swarm their D. It was important too, I think your first goal that you guys, you know, kept kept a lead and didn't let them back in the game like last night. Was that one of the things you guys were focusing on to kind of, if you got a lead, just to seize it? And... Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you always want to stay up on a team and it was just big for us and uh, Steve-O played a real good first back there to give us that chance. Yeah, for you personally, I was guessing, you know, you get a couple of goals that weren't power play goals. Would that mean to you? Uh, it's good game. to get the monkey off the back for that, but uh, yeah. I'm just glad we got the win, so. Yeah, that's what I do with the, you know big road series coming up at Colgate and Cornell. How important was it for you guys to get some confidence after having a little bit of a slow stretch there? Uh, yeah, big time. I mean, Colgate's coming off a long uh, flight overseas and a little bit of a slump, so we got to take advantage Friday and then roll over on Saturday. First off, obviously, I was going to ask you about the goal you scored. What did you kind of see on that play? Uh, well, Drew's uh, one of backs me off the face off, and I saw an opening for a shot lane, so I just took it and yeah. went in. Obviously, I know that's not your, your job with the team, but what did it feel like to get your first career goal in there? Uh, I felt great, obviously. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's not how it doesn't happen every day, but when yeah. it does, it's really nice. Do you have any plans like what you can do with the puck or anything like that? Or you... Say that again? Do you have any plans of what you want to do with the puck or anything like that? Or... Uh, no, just uh, yeah. shoot shoot on net and get shots down low and right. hopefully it goes in. I was going to ask about defensively too. What did you think of the job you guys did? You were a little shorthanded this week with just five guys back there. What would you like about the way you played this weekend as a team? Yeah, uh, yeah I thought we uh, handled it well, uh, mm -hmm. especially with the five D. It was getting a little tiring, but uh, okay. we battled hard and made it through it. I was going to ask you first about the goal you scored. It looked like you were just kind of a good hustle play just on the whole team's part in general, and then you finished it off. Uh, you know, Was it one of those plays where you guys just never gave up on that puck as a team? Uh, yeah, it was just uh, good work by my line mates, and I was mm -hmm. just fortunate to be in the right place at the right time. Did, look like, did you have a good angle on that shot, or was it kind of a strange angle you were shooting at? Or? I was a little bit weird, but like I said, my lineman did a great job to, mm -hmm. to find the puck and get it free for me, so I just tried to put it on net and luck it in. And for, for the team, how big was that goal you got? Because last night, obviously, when you got the first goal, they kind of came back and took a lead. How big was it for you guys to kind of get the second goal up there? Yeah, yeah I think every time uh, we got on the ice, we're trying to rig pucks down low and, and go to work and, and play to our strengths. So I think uh, we had a good job of that tonight. And yeah, the second period in general, you guys outshot them 16-1. to What did you like about what you were doing out there on the ice in that period? Yeah, I thought a lot of guys just kept it simple. Like I said, worked to our strength, uh, mm -hmm. played our systems correctly, and played to the game plan that we had. And uh, yeah. when we do stuff, stuff like that, we're successful. So we definitely want to keep that going. A little different than the last night in that they were able to kind of take control in the second period. And communicate yeah. It. Uh, what, what was kind of going wrong for you guys in the second? Well, we, you know, we we were really happy with how we played in the first. We yeah. thought we thought we was probably our best period of the of the weekend. And then, yeah. um, you know, they came out and and that top twenty team that they've been in sports mm -hmm. this season. They 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 started to play like that team and. Um, you know, it, it heavy and mature and just good decisions and and uh, we just didn't have any pushback. You know, they, they were just too much for us to handle. I think it's nice to some gentle about your team, you know, coming on to all these road trips you're taking this year. Uh, what are the pros and the cons of that? Obviously, it's got to be tough to have to keep doing all these distance things, but how big is it for these guys to see as many different like venues around the country? It, it's huge, you know. We, we, we really, truly don't even focus or talk about what cons there are. You know, it's it's... It's, this is a process and we're looking to build a, a, a elite program and, and all these kids are going to be way better 
you know, in the latter parts of their career for all this travel and then all these road games early on. What do you think are some things they're noticing about, like just the atmospheres and stuff of this you know, different Division One ranks after playing? Here? Well, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. This is a special place, and it's got a lot of history. And, and you know, we've been to places like that. And we just came from Lake Superior State, where you see national championship banners hanging in um, old and, and and just character barns that, that are fun to plant. Good crowd, good support here. It's uh, Casey's got a good program. All fans are welcome to meet the team. Applications for the Golden Knights are available on the 50-50 table. Oh, yeah.